Hello friends, I am Dr. Vijay Prakash and today I am going to tell you about minor connectors and removal partial dentures. Now, by definition, minor connectors are those components of removal partial dentures that provide a connecting link between the major connectors or base of the removal dental processes and other units of the processes such as the class assembly, indirect retainers, occlusal rest or cingulum rest. So this is, if you see here in this framework, this is the minor connector. This is the minor connector. This connecting link is the minor connector. This connecting link is the minor connector. So the purpose of a minor connector is to connect the major connector. That is, this is the major connector and the connecting link between the major connector and the direct retainers are the minor connectors. So they transfer stresses to other components of the processes. They transfer stresses from the processes to the abutment teeth and the edentulous ridges. So you have an abutment teeth here. So these are the components which will transfer the stresses from the abutment teeth and the edentulous ridges. Design considerations for minor connectors are foremost one of the foremost requirement is that they should be rigid so that they can withstand functional stresses they should be positioned in the embrasure area so that is very important that is between two teeth in the embrasure space you have to position your minor connectors they should be thickest lingually and should taper as you come towards the contact area so if you see this minor connector here this is thicker lingually and as you come up towards the contact area it tapers similarly here also if you see it's the same there should be about 5 millimeter space between the two vertical minor connectors they should not be too close to each other they should contact the guiding planes of the abutment teeth or teeth to facilitate its path of insertion and uh, removal. They should provide enough space for the teeth arrangement. So if you see a minor connector, this is also a minor connector which you see here. So they should provide adequate space for the placement of teeth and arrangement of teeth that is the denture base. Now what are types of minor connectors? There are principally four types of minor connectors. First connector is those connectors which connect the direct retainers to the major connector. If you see here, this is the major connector and the minor connectors are connecting to the direct retainers that is the class assembly in both the sides. They should be rigid and should have adequate bulk to withstand the functional forces. Minor connectors should lie interproximally as it had already been told in the design consideration. It should be broad buccolingually and thin mesodistally. They should Minor connector is never placed on the convex lingual surface of the tooth. It is always in the embrasure area. Another type of minor connector is those minor connectors which connect the indirect retainers to the major. You can see here, this is the indirect retainer and this is the minor connector which is connecting to the major connector. This is the major connector, the minor connector and this is the indirect retainer. So this is another type of minor connector. They should connect at right angle but the junction should be rounded. If you can see the junction is rounded and it, it is designed in such a way that it lies in the embrasure space between the teeth so that it disguises the bulk. If it is not now the third type of minor connector is those minor connectors which joins the denture base to the major connector. Which you can see in front of you there are three types of this minor connectors. They are the lattice type, the mesh type and the nail head or the bead shape. Now the picture, the figure in which you see this is the lattice type. Lattice type is basically having two metal struts. If you can see there is a 
longitudinal struts and in between that are the horizontal struts these metal struts are 12 to 16 gauge in thickness which extends longitudinally over the edentulous area if you see in a lower arch one st strut is placed buccally whereas the other strut is placed lingual to it in the upper arch one strut one strut is placed buccally to the crest while the other forms the border of the major connector now if you see in this particular cast partial denture also you have a lattice type of design this is on the buccal side this strut and in between you have horizontal struts you have longitudinal struts and similarly it is going all over towards the palatal side the horizontal struts are smaller in size they are 16 gauge in thickness and are placed in between the struts to form a lattice type of design one cross strut is placed for each tooth which is to be replaced and this type of design is used when multiple teeth are to be replaced especially in the case of distal extension cases like class is the strongest type of retention of acrylic denture base to removable uh, removable partial dentures it is easy to realign the denture base because below also if we see there is acrylic which is flowing there so realigning is not a problem tissue stop here is required so as to provide stabilization to the processes another type of minor connector is mesh type which you can see a mesh here metal mesh it consists of thin metal sheets with multiple holes it can be used in cases of multiple missing teeth and it is difficult to pack acrylic casing that is the only problem here whereas excess pressure is required so that uh, to allow the resin to flow through this it does not provide as strong attachment as the lattice type and tissue stops are also required in such a such type of minor connect you can see in this figure how mesh type design is there and it's the same what i just explained to you now moving on third type of minor connector is the nail head or a bead shaped you have a metal on the surface that means there is no space for the acrylic metal is directly there that is thin sheet of metal and you have basically a uh, metal which is protruding out so that provides basically attachment for acrylic acrylic raising and the artificial teeth it should be used on well round and heel ridges if you have a thin knife edge ridges then this type of design is should you should not use it is indicated in totally tooth supported designs let us kennedy's class 3 designs and uh, it is a hygienic type and it is better for the soft tissues because of the metal coverage but the drawback is that this resin attachment is the weakest of all the designs that is the mesh type and the lattice type and relining of this metal base is not possible because it is directly metal it is not acrylic that is the reason relining is not possible in such type of minor connector now the fourth type of minor connectors are those minor connectors which acts as approach arm in a bar clasp design which you can see that there is an approach arm this is an exception because this is the only minor connector which is not rigid you can see here it should it is tapering from the original to the terminus you can see where it is from the y it is thinning down it is tapering and it is not crossing the tissue undercut so you have a tissue undercut below this mesh so it is not crossing that and that is the reason it is applying it is providing space for the attachment of teeth and providing space for the acrylic base so this is all about the minor connectors we come to end for our, this video thank you for watching the video